P5 class, I again welcome you into this lesson. Uh, today our lesson is we are still looking at the digestive system of man. And we shall be looking at enzymes. But before we look, we look at the enzymes, we are going to look at uh, our, our activity that I left last time and we go through. And number one was, what is meant by the term digestion? And my answer is, digestion is the process by which food is broken down into simple soluble particles that can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Where does digestion of food in, the, in man begin? It begins from the mouth. I told you, in the mouth there is mechanical digestion. So it begins from the mouth. Mark that one. What term refers to the expulsion of undigested food from the body? That is ejection. Did you write ejection or ingestion? Don't confuse the two. The other one begins with the I. This one begins with E. Then we, uh, there was a question that was said, name the type of digestion where food is digested by the teeth. Where food is digested by the teeth. And that is the, that's mechanical digestion. Why do you think any digested food is expelled or removed from the body? Why do you think the, the food that has not been digested is expelled or removed from the body? It cannot be absorbed by the body. That's why it is removed, because it is still having, they are still in their bigger form. Then another one, name the type of nutrition found in a man. That is heterotrophic nutrition. Remember I said heterotrophic nutrition is where organisms depend on already made food, like me and you. We have heterotrophic nutrition. So let's go to our lesson of today. What do I expect from you? One, defining the term enzymes. Two, state, uh, you'll give the characteristics of enzymes. Three, you will mention the conditions under which enzymes work. And then I expect you to state the enzymes in each condition which they, in which they work. Let's look at an enzyme. What are enzymes? Let's say my, when I was discussing, I said chemical digestion is a type of digestion where food is broken down by chemicals called enzymes. Now, what are enzymes? Can you try to think about? I told you when you are thinking, touch your head and close your eyes. Think. Have a moment of silence and think. If you don't do it, then you will not get the answer. But now, I know you have meditated and you have seen what you have got your answer. Compare yours with mine. One, enzymes are chemical compounds or substances that speed up the digestion of food. That speed up the digestion of food. What am I saying? Enzymes are chemical substances or compounds that speeds up the digestion of food. So enzymes, their major function is just to speed up. For you, when you eat a sweet potato at lunch time, remember, when, before you eat, you are very weak, you don't have energy, you can't play. But the moment you put in something, you gain energy immediately. Why? The teeth broke down the food. Two, the enzymes will quicken the digestion. They will speed up. Within just 10 minutes, you have gained energy. One day I was walking on the road, and then I reached somewhere. I was very tired. I didn't have, um, I, 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 I didn't have energy, so I sat down. But later, I had some money in the pocket. I bought, uh, I bought some cassava in that area where I sat, because there were some people who were selling cassava. So when I ate cassava for 500, within just... 20 minutes, I had gained already energy. Then I started asking myself, where did I get the energy? But I said that I thought I had eaten what? Carbohydrates. Now, what gave me energy immediately? It was the cassava. But what made the digestion quick? It was the enzymes. So enzymes, 
speed up the digestion of food. And the characteristics of enzymes. What are the characteristics of enzymes? One, enzymes are protein in nature. They are, they are just made of proteins. They are protein in nature. They are just protein in nature. Two, they are destroyed by too much heat. If your body is very hot, the enzymes will not work. They will be destroyed. So, they, that's one, one of the characteristics. And thirdly, they work only on one type of food or one kind of food substance. They work only on one kind of food substance. What am I meaning? Those that work only on proteins, stop on proteins. Those that work only on carbohydrates, stop on carbohydrates. You will not find those that are working on, 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 on proteins, they are turning this side, they are on fats, they are on, on what? So they work only on one type of food or one kind of food substance. Lastly, but not least, they work within a narrow temperature range. They work within a narrow temperature range. Now, let's go through together and we see characteristics of enzymes you repeat after me. They are protein in nature. They are destroyed by too much heat. They work only on one kind of food substance. They work within a narrow temperature range. Members, those are the characteristics of enzymes. Let's look at the conditions under which these enzymes work. These, uh, these enzymes, they work under alkaline condition. We have those that work under alkaline condition and those that work under acidic condition. An alkaline condition is the condition that does not need an acid to work. Then those which work under acidic, they can't, if there is no acid that is providing that condition, they will not work. They will just be dormant. They will just stay there. That's why enzymes that work in the mouth cannot work in the stomach. Why? In the stomach, we have what you call hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid provides that condition for the enzymes in the stomach to work. But in the case you carry the hydrochloric acid from the stomach to the mouth, the, the, the one in the mouth will not work because for it, it needs an alkaline condition. Let's look at these uh, enzymes that work in each of the conditions. One, we have alkaline conditions. The examples of enzymes that work under alkaline condition, we have one. We have what you call lipase. Repeat after me, lipase. Salivary amylase or tyaline. Salivary amylase or tyaline. Tyaline is P-T-Y-A-L-I-N. So when you are pronouncing it, you only pronounce T-Y. You, you, you pronounce P silently. So it is a silent P. Then we have pancreatic amylase. Pancreatic amylase. Then we have another one called trypsin. We have what you call trypsin. So those are the enzymes that work under alkaline condition. In that condition does not need an acid before they work. Then we have those that work under acidic condition, that is pepsin and renin. Spell the word pepsin together, let's go. P-E-P-S-I-N. Spell the word renin. R-E-N-N-I-N. Members, that is all about enzymes. Try to go through. Learn with us. Follow the teacher's guideline and you will understand. Therefore, as I go, I don't want to leave you 
without an activity. I want to see those people who are following. Keep away your toy phones that will cause you not to understand. So you are going to go through this. We shall go through this work when I come back. Thank you.